Hello everyone, welcome to the video on AP RSET 2021 Mental Ability Question Answer Explanation. Now in this video I will explain AP RSET 2021 paper Mental Ability Questions. Now in AP RSET there are two different parts are there. One is known as Part A, the other one is Part B. Part A includes research methodology. Now in this research methodology we have, there are at least 10 mental ability questions will be there. And this part A is common to all the subjects and all the papers. Whereas part B is related to particular subject. The related subject questions will be there. Now, these kind of mental ability questions are also given in AP set. So these mental ability questions are useful for AP R set as well as AP set. Now in this video I will explain about logical reasoning questions, verbal reasoning and data interpretation questions which are all given in AP R set 2021 question paper. Now, this is my YouTube channel. You just type in my name, Jis Ayarajesh, you will get my channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now, <clears throat> the first logical question uh, is, see, find the missing number in the series. Now, whenever such kind of series is given, we need to find the difference between all the digits. One of the way is this one. See, what is the difference between 2 and 6? It is 4. The difference between 6 and 12, it is 6. The difference between 6, 12 and 20, it is 8. Now, you need to identify the pattern. See, for all these mental ability questions, we need to able to find the pattern. See how it is going on. There is a two digit increment is there while progressing the series. So, what could be the next one? It has to be 10 difference. So, 20 plus 10 must be 30. Now, after that, what is the difference should be 12? 30 plus 12 is 42. Now, what is the next difference should be? 14. 42 plus 14 is 56. So, the series and the pattern everything fits. So, the missing number must be 30. This is the answer. See, this missing number series are very easy. Only the thing is you need to understand the pattern. How the uh, digits are, are, how the numbers are progressing. What is the relation between them? So, this is the simple one. Moving to the next one. Now, these kind of questions are known as verbal reasoning. Now, look at them. Alphabetical series are given. See, first one is NPRR. Any relationship is there with one alphabet to another alphabet. See, N after N alphabet, you get O. Now, what is after O? It is P. So, one alphabet is omitted. Now, after P, what is the alphabet? Q. And Q is omitted and the next alphabet R is given. And R is again repeated. So, the pattern is... In the next alphabet is omitted and, and for the next one also another alphabet is omitted and the next alphabet is repeated. Let us see this one. See for this one, for after L you have M is there, M is omitted and after M, N is given. After N, O is there and O is omitted and P is given, it is repeated. So there is a pattern. Now again, you have J is there, after J, K is alphabet which is omitted, L is given. Now, after L, what is the alphabet? <coughs> it is M, I'm sorry. M is omitted and N is given, which is repeated. All of them the same pattern now. H, after H, what is the alphabet? I, I is omitted, J is given. After J, K is omitted, L is repeated. So, this is what is the pattern. Again, how, how the series is beginning? Again, there is a pattern is there. Now, let us look at the pattern. Now, see, after H, what do you get? H i is there and after i you have j is there so the initial alphabet i is omitted from here now after j what is there k k is omitted and then l is given and after k what is that uh, after l what is the alphabet m is there now m is omitted and n is given here so the first alphabet pattern is st start starting from here so after h i is omitted and j is given here and after J, K is the alphabet, it is omitted, L is given. After L, it is M. M is the alphabet which is omitted and the remaining is given here. Now, let us understand this one. Now, what has to come afterwards? Now, first alphabet, the pattern is this one. See, if you have F is there, after F, what is the alphabet? G. G is omitted and what is the next one? H. So, this is what is the pattern. Now, once you get this first alphabet, we, we need to follow this series. Now, after F, what is the alphabet? G. G has to be omitted. And after that, after G, what is the alphabet? H. 
Now after H, what is the alphabet? I, uh, that has to be omitted. And what is alphabet after I? It is J, that has to be repeated. So this is, this must come after this one. What is this? F, H, J, J. So this is how we need to crack this kind of alphabetical series question. Always we need to find a pattern. Moving to the next one. Now look at them. If Amaravati is represented by code this one, then Tirupati will be represented by code what? Now look at them, see, Amaravati is what is given. And what is the code given for that? Z and Z, I, Z, E, Z, G, R. <clears throat> any relationship, any pattern is there. See, whenever you see A, that is replaced by Z. A is replaced by Z. That, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that means the first alphabet is replaced with the last alphabet. So to find out the pattern, we need to break alphabets into two sets. And the, look at this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So uh, out of 26, these are the first 13 alphabets. And then N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. See, the reason why I am writing all these things is, see, I have realized this pattern. A is replaced with Z. So this is what is one of the patterns. So wherever you get A, you are getting Z. Now let us see the other things. See, M is replaced with N. Look at this, M replaced with N. So the pattern is same. Again, A replaced with Z. Now R is replaced with I. Now where is R here? See, R is replaced with I. Again, A, Z. Now V is replaced with E. Now look at this, V is replaced with E. Again, T is replaced with G, whereas T is replaced with C. So from the back set, alphabets are made into two sets and one is replaced with the other one from the back set. So this is what is the pattern. Now let us see about Tirupati. T, I, R, U, P, A, T, I. Now see, look at where is T, this is T. T, the pair is, it has to be G. Now next, I, where is I? I, the pair is R. So this is R. So again, R is there, that means that this has to be I. Now U, U is, re U, the pair is F. So here you should get F. Now next, what is, it is P is there. P, the pair is K. So it has to be K. Now A, it has to be Z. And then T, it is Z, already we have seen. I, it is R. So G, R, I, F, K, Z, G, R. So this has to be the answer. Z, R, I, F, K, Z, Z, R. See, it looks complicated, but first you need to understand this one. They have given Amravati, which is replaced with this one. You need to find the pattern. Once you get the pattern, you will get it easily. Let's move to the next question. Now, see, these kind of questions are known as data interpretation. There will be certain data is given. And based on the data, certain set of questions are given. So first we need to understand what is the data given. And then we need to answer the questions. Let us look, th look at them. <coughs> Excuse me. See, refer the following table which presents the data about distribution of scholarship by an institute. So during the years 2013 to 2020 and answer the questions. So during the year 2013, that particular institute has distributed 35 crores of scholarship. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is what is the data and the interpretation is this one. During 2014, 50 crores of scholarship is distributed. So this is how it goes on. Now let us look at the questions. See, the questions, all of them are based on the data. Now see, the average scholarship distribution of 2014 and 15 was exactly equal to the average distribution of which of the following pairs of years. Now, 2014, 2014, how much is the scholarship? It is 50 crores. 2015, how much is that? 70 crores. So average is 50 plus 70 is 120 by 2 is 60 crores. Now, <coughs> you need to find out which two years, when you sum them, add them, comes to 120 crores. Now, what is the first one? 2013 and 14. 2013 it is 35 and 2014 it is 50. What is the sum here? 85. 
This is not because it has to be 120. Why the question asks exactly equal to average distribution of 1450? So this is not. What is the next option? 2013 and 19. 2013 it is 35 and 2019 it is 85. When you sum them up, how much is this? This is 120. So the average comes to 60 which is exactly equal to 2014 and 15. So the answer is this one. See, data interpretation questions are very easy once you understand the data and what is being asked. We need to understand what is being asked and put it to the data so that you will get the answers. Now, the next one. The data is same for all these questions, remember, data is same. Now, in which year the percentage increase in <coughs> excuse me, scholarship distribution as compared to the previous year was maximum? Understand this question. Let us take the first one, 2014. 2014, how much is the uh, <coughs> scholarship distribution? It is 50 crores. Now, the question asks, in which year the percentage increase in the scholarship distribution as compared to the previous year was maximum? So, what is previous year of 2014? It is 13. How much is there? It is 35. So, from 35, it is increased to 50 crores. What is the increase? 15 crores. So, when compared with this 2013, 15 crores is increased, but they are asking about percentage increase. Now, percentage increase means 15 is how much percentage of 35? 15 is how much increase of 35? Let's say if 40 percent is increased of 35 crores, 40 percent will be 14 crores. See, when you multiply this one, how much you get? Percent means these two zeros goes and you will you left with 14. Now, how much is increased? It's 15. So, this one is a little over than 40 percent. That means around 40.3 percent. So, in 2014. So, in 2014, the percent increase is 40.3. Let's move on to the other one. Let us say about 2015. Now, you need to compare with the previous year. Previous year, it is 50. In 2000. Uh, 15 it has become 70. So how many crores are increased? 20 crores. Now 40 percent of 50 crores is 20. So how much increase it is here? Exactly 40 percent. Now between this 14 and 15, in 14 it is 40.3 and in, in 15 it is only 40 percent. Now let us see the other option 2017. <coughs> 2017 how much is that? you need to compare with previous year. Previous year it is 55 crores. In 2017 it has become 75. Now again what is the difference? 20 crores. Again see you need to compare with this previous year. So 55 into 40 percent how much it will be? <coughs> 22. But how much how much year it is increased? No it is only 20 crores is increased. So it it is definitely less than 40 percent. Because if it is 40%, 22 crores are increased. So it has to be less than 40%. Now we have three three options we have seen. One is 40.3, another one is 40, and the other one is less than 40. Now let us see the last one. In 2020, now 2020 when you compare with the previous year, 85 to it has become 90. Only 5 crores is increased. 5 crores is not even 1%. If 1% is there, it is 8.5 crores. I'm sorry, 10% is there, it, it is 8.5 crores. So, we need to compare with the all the previous things. See, out of all of them, one is 40.3, another one is 40, another one is less than 40, this one is far lower one. So, where is the uh, increase in scholarship is maximum? 40.3, that is 2014. So, this is the answer. Again, you need to understand the question and apply the data. Now, the next one. <coughs> Look at this. What was the approximate percentage increase in distribution of scholarship in 2020 compared to that of 2013? Understand this one. 2020, 90 crores. <coughs> and 2013, it is only 35 crores. So, how much is the percentage difference? How much increase is, is uh, how many times it is increased? Now, understand this one. If 100% increase is there, 100% increase means 35, another 35 is increased and it would become 70. 
that is what is meant by 100% but how much it is increased it is increased to 90 this is more far more than 100% now we need to do this one 35 into 157% now when we do this it comes around 52 crores when you do this multiplication it comes around 52 now when you add 35 to 52 how much it will be 87 so it will be around 87 now I'm sorry see when you multiply this one this one comes around 54.9 see 157 means 35 into 157 by 100 and this is 57.9 now 57.9 crores are increased means when you add this to 35 so how much it will be it will be 89.9 which is very close to 90 see that is the reason why in the question they have asked us approximately not exactly so the answer is it is 157 percent is increase now See, instead of multiplying all these things, you can do one thing. See, I told you about 100% increase is 35. So, 100% increase is 35. Now, how much will be the 50%? 50% increase will be half of this 35. That is around 18. So, how much it will be? 53. Now, 35 plus 53 will be 88. Right? Now, when you add this 88, you will get the approximately near 90. So, it, is, it, it has to be close to 150%, more than 150%, shortcut method, simply doing it, okay? Okay, coming to the next one. Now, again, see, I'm telling you the data is same, only the questions will change and we need to answer that. Now, in how many of the given years was the distribution of scholarship more than the average scholarship of the given years? Now, understand this one. Average means you need to sum all these things and divide with how many years are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are there. So, when we sum up all these things, it comes 520 divided by 8, it is 65. So, the average is 65 crores. Now, what is the question being asked? How many of the given years was the distribution of scholarship more than the average scholarship? Now, how many years you have more than 65 crores? See, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So, 4 years have more than the average distribution of scholarship. So, this is the answer. This is a simple one. Moving to the next one. Again, what was the percentage decline in distribution of scholarship from 2015 to 16? See, 15 to 16. It is 70 crores in 15. It is declined to 55 crores. Now, how much is the difference? 15 crores is decreased from 70. Now, we need to, see, multiply these things. See, out of 70, if it is 20.4%, out of see what is this uh, uh, we need to see how much percentage is decline when you do this it comes around 14 17 into 20 it is 14 but here it is given as 15 now when you multiply 17 to 21.4 this comes close to 14.98 so this is also again approximate how much is the decline 15 and 21.4 percent decline is 14.98 so this is what is the answer so all of them are simple ones, just we need to plug in the numbers, you will get the third interpretation one. So these are all the sum of the questions which are given in mental ability. In the next series, I will finish the remaining mental ability questions. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.